uh, the G1 or the NV or SP1 or all that because they use a bigger type hose as seen over here this is a blue hose this one blue as well not all blue hoses are um, are 4 millimeter or 5 30 second inch tubing but um, but they are bigger than the 1 8 uh, that you see in the ion now this is a normal ion QED this is from Clippard and this again you can see that it does not fit in there because this takes 1 8 of an inch fittings or sorry, one eighth of an inch uh, hosing. Again, this smaller type of hosing. So this is uh, one issue you might find uh, when you're trying to find QEVs. Now, if you contact Smart Parts, they they'll give you um, the proper QEV for your your G1 NV SP1 vibe. But uh, if you want to get your own, like a clippered one, which is a bit faster and a bit harder on paint, but I, I sometimes I use it for my eye on all the time. Um, <clears throat> you can you can get it separately. What happens is this unscrews. This is the QEV portion, again made by Clippard, and they have um, uh, 10 30 second inch threading, NPT threading. It just goes right into uh, right into the breech. So it's the exact same thing as the banjo fittings here. Now this this front part is, is the quick connect fitting, and this is a one eighth of an inch hosing. Again, that's not what you want for the uh, for the uh, G1 NV vibe. You'll want something like this. Uh, this is the five thirty seconds inch tubing, which is also called four millimeter. I'm just going to use uh, the term four millimeter. It's also called uh, 532nd inch tubing. I'm just going to call it 4 millimeter tubing uh, for, from now on. And uh, as you can see, it fits perfectly. Push and it comes apart. Now, this will thread right onto here. There we go. Bam. And then you got a QEV. Now, this is a bigger version. You can get a compact version like this. Um, again, it's 1032 threads, uh, quick connect push fittings. Uh, for four millimeter hosing and uh, this is the regular style you can get the compact style which is uh, smaller and smoother you just need a hand tighten it and uh, make sure that it seals and there you go that's that's really it um, you can you can try putting one on here it might fit the only problem with this is that you have to screw it in um, like this it doesn't stay put like the smart parts QEV and you, you don't need to use an allen key. Uh, it's a bit harder to get in, a bit more cumbersome, but you can uh, you can make it fit. And again, it just connects there. Now, another issue with getting your own Q, uh, QEV. Oh, what you, you can also do is instead of using these push uh, connect fittings, you can use a barb. You can buy a barb that, uh, again, 1032 threads that connects to four millimeter hosing. And you just push, and it'll go right on there. I'm not gonna do it now because it stretches the hosing, and uh, there's a new piece of hose here. But look, there you go. You got another compact uh, QEV here. You just push to connect, and uh, just push and onto the barb, and you're good. Now, it, by replacing the stock banjo or the stock QEV, what if you do decide to put another QEV on? Uh, You'll see this hose over here, the four millimeter hose. You might have to cut it off to um, and put a new piece of hosing because it's either too small or uh, not large enough to get there. So you might need a new piece of hosing. Again, all you do is go to the store, get a four millimeter uh, hose or three, uh, five thirty second, and um, and put it on. But you got to be careful with the solenoid though. Uh, when you remove it from there, you might want to use an exacto knife to cut, but be very, very careful. You do not want to uh, rock the hose back and forth because the barb coming from the solenoid is made out of plastic, so it is very, very fragile. If you go back and forth, you might even break it off, and if you break it off, you pretty much need um, a new solenoid, uh, if not a new board, probably just a new solenoid. But it's uh, it's too much too much of a hassle. You just need to cut over here. I'd be very careful coming uh, taking it off. Just uh, same goes with ions. The same way they're very fragile. Uh, it's better not to touch it. But um, again, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, take it to a qualified airsmith. All right. Uh, I think that's it for QEVs.
again the smart parts QEV um, is a bit slower but a bit softer on paint this uh, the clipper QEV will allow you to lower your dwell a little bit more a bit more efficient but um, it is a bit harder on paint again I've never had uh, any breaks or chops with it but uh, that's because I keep the eyes on. If you keep kept the eyes off, you would get uh, chops and or breaks. And that's another thing. QEVs they do they do eliminate the how was it called uh, anti chop bolt or whatever you want to call it, just because it makes the bolt go faster instead of having to route the air all the way back here and into the QEV or sorry into out of the solenoid air exhaust valve. It just goes out of the quick exhaust which just comes out the back here. It's very shorter, makes a bolt go faster. Alright, let's put all this together. Alright, I'm going to put the piece of tape back on here. Again, I like to tape it so that the eye wire harness does not get caught in the sides. Alright. Um, you'll want to put this guy back into the vertical ASA adapter which is right over here Just screw it in this uh, you can go try doing tight but again the banjo bolts here you don't want to over tighten them you don't want them too loose as well just until you get some resistance maybe a tad more Again, you don't want to uh, over tighten any of these. They might strip it. Um, that's tight, that's tight, there we go. Uh, with the regulator, remember put the filter back in. And now the grip frame. <clears throat> now what I like to do with the grip frame is keep the power button on the bottom so it doesn't just fall out and you want to put the, um, the, the uh, battery cord here right in into there. I already loosened up the grip, frame, uh, grip screws here and the grip uh, is loose so I can just feed it through the back here and line it up, put it back in and this is where you don't want to force it in there if it's if there's just a little bit of resistance that's fine you don't want to jam it in you might break the board uh, if that is the case take this out and remember that uh, locking uh, mechanism there you might want to loosen that and then shift the whole breech over and you can do that by the back you just get the, the the allen key for the back and just shift the uh, the breech uh, sideways so that it lines up with the, uh, the grip frame all right now we're going to screw in these guys. Again, you don't want to tighten these uh, way too much. You'll you will strip the threads in the breech, but you want them tight enough so that they won't fall out. And if you need to put a bit of Loctite on there, blue Loctite, that works as well. Okay. Now it's time to put the reg in. is in. Then you want to put uh, your back plate on. Again you don't have to do this or the front rail if you have an NV 
or a vibe you want to put your battery in afterwards to try, try it out if you're storing it again you want to store it without the battery I'm going to be storing it so I'm just going to put the screws in here for the grip and that's it let's talk about settings we just finished in uh, talking about installing the black art board and hopefully you've installed yours with no problems at all but uh, yeah let's talk about QEVs and what settings they, sh they should be at now <clears throat> if you have no QEV on your black art board you'll want to keep the settings at around 27 milliseconds of dwell and probably below 15 uh, balls per second. Now if a stock ion, uh, which is pretty much uh, the same kind of internals, they uh, they recommend 17 millisecond, or sorry, 17 balls per second without a QEV. That's I think because they have 1 8 hosing going to the front banjo. So it does allow for a faster recharge rate uh, for the can. Your SP1, your Vibes, your uh, NVs, and your G1s. You just uh, you have four millimeter hose going to the front banjo, so it might be a bit harder for it to recharge, and that's why I'm recommending um, either 15 balls a second or lower. 12 is probably better without a uh, again. This is all without a QEV uh, installed on there. Um, <coughs> but but yeah, that's that's what I recommend or else you'll get too too much shoot down. Now, <clears throat> if you do have a QEV, either a Clippard or a Smart Parts QEV, which you get from GOG, or which comes stock in the Blackheart packages for the SP1 or Vibe, then you can put your settings as low, uh, they recommend in the manual for the Smart Parts QEV, a dwell of about uh, 17 milliseconds. Uh, you might need to go a bit higher or lower depending on the temperature in your area, but um, yeah, 17 is a good safe one, uh, safe one to use. Again, use the procedures in the in the manual on how to set your dwell. Usually, you you try going from something very low, probably around uh, five uh, six milliseconds, and work your way up, um, and then let's say. The volt, the volt you'll see moving, but you won't probably hear a shot at that low of dwell. And when when you start hearing a full full shot come out of it, uh, that's that's your critical dwell level. And then after the uh, then you add uh, about five milliseconds to your critical dwell level, and you'll get the ideal dwell for your marker, so that you're not wasting air and it'll be very consistent. Um, I found for this SP1 here with the Smart Parts QEV uh, already installed in it, I found that the ideal dwell was 17 milliseconds, which is exactly what they recommend in the marker. Um, yeah, with the Clippard QEV, at least on the Ion XC, you, you might find if you do install this Clippard one, you'll get an even lower dwell. Uh, with my Ion XC, uh, I've got the 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 dwell set at 12 milliseconds. Again, that's because the Clippard QEV is a bit faster. Uh, it is a bit harder on paint, but it is uh, it is faster, which is is great. And that's why I haven't bothered replacing with my SP1. I don't need too high rates of fire with it. But uh, yeah, with the Clippard, you could probably go to 25 balls a second with minimal shoot down. The smart parts the QEV, I'd say. Uh, 20 balls per second um, wouldn't go too much higher than that um, and without a QEV again stick below 15 and you'll be golden alright I hope uh, you've gained some understanding of how to install black art boards and maybe different settings that you can use on it and yeah enjoy the settings I read the manual from start to finish to see exactly what the features are because the black art board has really some uh, really awesome features on it and it will allow you to customize your marker to the way you want it. So there we go. Thank you for tuning in.